Oh, hi, Happy New Year for 2021. I really hope you're having a good time so far. This is a pick a pile from your angels, spirit guides, and also we've got a few love messages in there as well, just to see what we're moving into, what we need to understand for 2021. Okay, so pick pile one, two, or three, or maybe you'd like to pick them all. It's up to you. There's always a choice. So pile one, pile two, or pile three. Okay, one, two, three. So I'll pause the video, start with pile one, timestamp them, and see how we go. Is that okay? I'll see you in a bit. Hi, welcome back to pile number one, if you chose this crystal. So, this is your reading. It looks quite good. Um, it looks moving forward. So, the first card, should we do the tarot first? So, we have the Ace of Earth. The Ace of Earth is giving you a wonderful new opportunity to realise how lucky you are this year. <laughs> so, you'll find a lot of good luck, new opportunities coming, especially with Korea. If you wander on the path with a new sense of learning and practical skill, you will find that they'll open up to new things. So this year for you is about opening up on practical levels, understanding a bit more of who you are. So instead of being passive about receiving luck, it's about taking that path like that child. That child is moving with her book of learning towards a fantastic building, which is actually um, kind of in tandem with this card, with this spirit card of a sacred temple. So when we dream and we look at our future, we can see, we can build our castles within the air. They're very similar, these two castles of learning, of purity. So when we adopt that pure heart and that pure passion and visualisation, we can see quite clearly how we want our future to actually be. And that's kind of in the mermaid message as well you've got here. Future. Your future is rosy, it's bright. When you look into a crystal ball and scry, you can put your own spin on things. You can really put your own vision on there. And this is what the little girl's doing. She's got her book of learning. She's going to learn it, read it, digest it, and then she's going to adapt on a higher level and grow into what's useful and what's not. So this is about scrying. Um, with the mermaid, they're full of emotions. So when you move your emotions to what you want to build to your future with that castle in the air, then you can see quite clearly. And this is um, reflected in this angel message of true love, of the luminosity. To, to put light on your situation, to see clearly. And this is in the other tarot card that we've got here of the um the the one of fire <laughs> ace of fire this is like holding your magic wand and alighting it alight your life and see that you are in charge it's like holding your spine or your staff of creativity to actually move forward so again you're going to learn how to create in your life that wonderment that passion of creativity and kind of realizing instead of being passive learn on those books carry the books of knowledge and then see is this applicable to me can I make that change but for you moving forward in 2021 learn something new and see if it's applicable and adapt with your own intuition and that will make things a lot easier so that is all about the growth You've also got the Angel of Comfort, which is really, really good. So if you're finding at this moment in time that things are difficult to start, you don't have to um, sit back and kind of think, why isn't this happening? 
if you put light on each area of your life you will find that comfort to realize that like this like the beginning you will get where you want to but you need to comfort yourself in the um higher aspect that it will happen for you okay so when you're feeling a little bit down that things aren't happening just ask your angel of comfort to be there just give yourself one of those amazing hugs you know that'll help enormously so i know that's going to happen because here down here the angel message is within a few weeks so when you see the mermaids looking into the future the angels are reminding you that everything is within time of essence today but when they say a few weeks that is going to give you comfort for your future that things aren't going to last for ages and ages um, if you take that step into the wonderment with the opportunities and how really believe that luck is on your side that is very comforting from your angel of comfort okay so <clears throat> moving on we have this card here with the uh, queen moon oracle of action so the action must be put into place okay when we when we think about things and we can look into the future we don't want to push things further and further back by saying yeah it's going to happen in the next few weeks we have to take that necessary step to support us uh, with the newness and action these two are very action we need the fire we need the passion we need the get up and go to actually make things happen within our life we can't be passive we can't always sit back all right and uh, <clears throat> we've got grace and antoinette here and these angels are saying to help heal this situation see the other person's point of view with compassion so when we're having um an argument or a disagreement or it might even be with yourself always use compassion compassion for other people and that understanding that's an important message for the rest of the year always look at another person's point of view when we come across another person within our life we don't know what's happened just directly before they come to work what's happened maybe they've had an argument with their partner maybe someone's died maybe they haven't um you know all sorts of situations happen so we almost has to come to the next person with a clearness a neutrality and compassion we don't have to um, comfort them but we do have our angel of comfort and we must use compassion within ourselves uh, when we need our own comfort so no matter who who you know you might you might come across a shopkeeper or whatever who's a little bit off so we don't know what's happened before so just think oh well they're human as well and just use these ideas with compassion so we've got um this friends and colleagues friends and colleagues this year are going to really really help you out and you're really going to benefit from um interesting people as well so these interesting people will highlight for you um, the new learning experience so that's good so you're going to make new friends and new colleagues and the new opportunity of a, a more substantial career so this is good for you new opportunities new job opportunities or promotions and you'll make friends along the way and these interesting people if you use compassion there'll be more deeper friendships than ever before and this is what your temple is all about your sacred temple is yourself and what you believe in and what you can manifest for the rest of 2021 so build that castle in the air of what you do want it is time to realize that putting into action and learning little steps from the way we adapt to our life and have a look at newness and the opportunity and create 
by stepping into that action, by highlighting it, by comforting and using compassion to help us along that journey. It's very much like the Fool card. We need to trust ourselves, but we need to adapt. And if, if remember, when everyone's written a book, it's just the author's opinion. And it's like anything in life. Even if you're studying a degree, you've got your degree and you think, oh yeah, that's really good. Adapt. You're an intelligent person. You can make things better for yourself in your own interpretations of who you are. Okay. And, as I said, in the next few weeks, things are coming ahead. But also this year, you might going to have some romantic feelings. So this might be through the new colleagues and friends. But... It's all about accepting yourself and having that compassion and comfort that we feel happy with ourselves to actually embrace romantic feelings. So on a love level, um, even if you've been in a long-term relationship, you know, have a new spark and be romantic. It's because uh, February will come. Um, so just have some romantic feelings for the future uh, of new people. So all in all for you, Pile One, this is a great time to highlight for yourself a newness of accepting how you can adapt in a newness, especially surround practical aspects. But when you've got the Ace of Fire, this is a magic wand to highlight and put into practice. And, and that's what it is, putting into practice before you become an expert of all areas of your life so 2021 just embrace it in a newness that will bring happiness and peace to you thank you so much for listening power one and we'll see you again next time lots of love to you hi hi pile two if you picked this crystal you're pile two <laughs> so what's going on what do we need to look into the future of 2021 you can come back to this reading because there is a card here which says the to of air there needs to be a decision made this year you may be finding it difficult to make that decision using your intuition and your heart will really help you allow things to come about you can see within the sacred woman here even if you're a bloke the sacred woman will give you that adapting to make decisions you can see this sacred woman is holding up a hand with a green heart the heart is all about love and the greenness is healing so on a healing level when you make your decision from your heart but as long as it's healed don't make rash decisions so it's being calm and collected and allowing the um, heart to almost make that decision, but going on an intuitive level. When we see the sacred woman, it is to honour our passive nature within. It's also connecting to the divine source to make these decisions. So on the long term, we need to be very um, calm and from the heart we really do because sometimes if we make a wrong decision then you know you can tie yourselves up in knots you can see in this tarot card with the three of wands with the three of fire that's also about making a decision waiting for the decision or the opportunity to arise oh. so this is why it's important for pile two to go within to really know what it is that you're trying to aim for we can see here with the angel of um, learning is about so to learn about ourselves when we've healed is the new opportunity so when you've completely healed and understood who you are and where you are this learning is there because on a conscious level you've kind of got a conscious of lack so when we believe that the opportunities haven't been here and why isn't my situation arising, 
This is a learning and adapting to the love. So making a rash decision and just going with what's in front of us in a negative way is, is a form that you're not believing, perhaps, that you deserve the very, very best, and you do. So this is why the sacred woman's here to say to yourself, learn that you don't have nothing, but you have a lot. So the decision from the heart is vitally important to say, I deserve the very, very best. And thinking that you haven't got that is a lack of consciousness on a level that you're not believing your higher self. So we must believe the higher self. We must believe that we deserve the best. So do use the sacred woman as a kind of sacredness that you believe in everything. Everything is possible. Look at the law of attraction. If you believe there's nothing coming your way, that's exactly what's more coming your way, a lack of. So when we think our ideal relationship or career or anything like that isn't happening, that's a poverty thinking and that is a consciousness of where you could land yourself. So now you can see perhaps that the two of air is so important to make a, a decision about intuitively picking there is an abundance of opportunities. And you do have that in this card here with the three of wands bringing you on this ship of abundance into your life. So you have made a good step and it's still coming but make the decision to see it clearly and don't think that it's not coming. Yeah, so it is coming. <laughs> but we've just got to allow that process on a more positive aspect. You've also, if you choose to accept it, got a very nice kindred um, partnership on the love aspect. The mermaid is saying love on a deeper level than before. And maybe have... A kindred um, partnership. So if you're thinking, oh, it's been forever that I've never had that perfect partnership, 2021 perhaps is that time if you have healed and realised that a greater love than ever before, not only for yourself, but also for somebody else. Have that kindred spirit. Make it happen. Make the decision that it is all about learning about yourself and learning about other people can have that reflection to you. So it's a very kind of passive within inside, but a very neutral way of understanding what unconditional love is all about. You've also got Archangel Ariel here to give you the message. Your emotions are healing. So this is why the sacred women um, is here, which enables you to open to greater love. I will help you release anger and unforgiveness from your heart and mind. So when you're making the decision with Archangel Uriel to love, that is exactly what this is called. This is being overprotective of the heart, but Archangel Uriel is going to help you release that. So that's really, really special and good. So look at forgiving yourself and opening up your heart to a greater love than ever before. And everything else will fall into place when that happens. So you have got a moon oracle card, which is all about assessing. So you can see really the angel of learning and assessing what is going on is on a greater love aspect. So when we look at unconditional love, that means we don't expect an outcome. We're just giving love to ourselves and other people. And this is what the mermaid knows. She's already assessed that unconditional love brings so much happy, happiness and joy to yourself. So this is a good aspect. So look at that. Look at all the people who have successfully found love whether that's self-love and they're very content to be on their own or they do have that fantastic 
kindred partnership that they want and this is on the cards for yourself if you choose to actually do that and you can see here with this angel saying the sit your situation is going to improve <laughs> so make the decision today perhaps to un unlock that heart with the intuitive side and say yeah of course it's going to happen to me because this is why i'm here i know I, i've got self-worth and i have self-belief and i know my situation is going to improve and you can see this with the romance angel it says love is worth waiting for so when you have your ship coming in the window of opportunity once you've decided that true love is worth it you do have that kindred relationship for a lot of you who are in relationships making it more solid is always worth waiting for it is on a daily basis that we need to improve relationships we can always learn about ourselves and learn about how we're interacting you can ask a married couple of 60 years are they still learning about each other yes because we're humans and we change so all love is worth waiting for but accepting who you are especially with the angel of learning and looking at that sacred woman that sacred yingness inside of you even if you're a bloke having that healing is very very sacred we are sacred you are special and you have got every situation worth waiting for so please remember that guys don't think that you've been left on, on the humanistic pile and the angels aren't listening or they haven't heard you everything is worth waiting for so don't be struggling perhaps with time but just accept where you are and heal within tap into your intuitive side and you'll instantly know hopefully what your situation is all about okay so i wish you all the best in 2021 and we'll see you next time. Lots of love to you all. Hi, if you pick pile three, this is your reading. Okay, so there's two lots of you in pile three. <laughs> so what we do have with the tarot is um, the king of water. So some of you perhaps are the king of water. Some of you are trying to aspire to be the king of water. And then others of you know that you have had this person within your life. So with the King of Water, this stands for someone that you greatly love or want to be that giving person. We have the Knight of Fire here, rushing back towards someone. So some of you might want to reconnect to someone in the past. And some of you are rushing towards to be that loving par partner and person so if if you're of the category where you are rushing or trying to reconnect with a past lover a past ex or even just trying to achieve that oneness within that greatness then we need to take action you can see here that this person is, is one of these loves that you've really admired in life or you want this in your life and this is why we've got the angel of believe believe that you can have or be that loving person that gives love to yourself because you can really see here in the love card that you do have love you are love and this is why perhaps you are the king of cups you are well in charge of your life on a loving level so this is why you're trying so hard some of you to get back to this person because it's almost like a nostalgic way of looking at how that love was within your life and you can see here with the energy it's fragmented so the belief system that this person if, if you're of the category of trying to get back to your ex is fragmented and maybe you've lost some of the connections when you have a jigsaw sometimes you lose some pieces 
and this is the way that you've lost certain memories of why you split up you weren't connected fully so this is about fragmenting your your um, energies in, in not realizing that perhaps this X is an X for a reason and that's why rushing into things on a level come high or, or low water could, could be detrimental to the memories of where you did go but when we've got the angel of belief and the love if you're in that particular category then you have to believe that true love is coming towards you you've got this other card of deserving and that's very important message you do deserve love but if you've been harboring about an ex too much then this deserving card needs to be reflected fully towards you and take action that your king of cups is coming because you deserve the very very best so that's a positive aspect but if you're still thinking about your ex and they're not coming and it's been years months you've not heard from them one of the things is do you deserve to wait for that person or do you deserve to love on a better level than ever before so the love aspect if you believe that love is coming then yes it is but not necessarily from this ex and, and that's the kind of consciousness that need, needs to be in place because we can see with the uh, mermaid the memories the memories of this ex is just too nice you were at a beautiful time and you think you are at a loss so we really have to realize on a conscious level that memories are good but were they real so we need to take action into really loving a new person a new form of love you can see if perhaps uh, for the rest of you that this person is in your life then you need to communicate clearly what it is that you want with this person so taking action of communicating clearly if things are going a little bit fragmented okay so for some of you you will get that if you communicate clearly and you can see here with um, the angel Zenya, Zana you are protected from all types of harm the worst is now behind you I ask you to relax and feel safe so some of you who have had a difficult time and that energy is fragmented you just have to believe that you are protected in certain circumstances so if you are having a difficult time with a, a relationship whether that's um, you don't think a relationship's coming you still think the ex is, is going to come um, which is absolutely fine the angel is saying believe in true love not not love so you see here that pleasure and chemistry when you are in a good relationship is there so that love um, um, of memories of how you were with that person can be replicated with a new person as long as you realize that love true love comes from within that self-love that that almighty love will give you a sense of pleasure and understanding that the memory of someone when we were at a certain um time in our life is good but you can achieve that again this person this knight on the horse is just riding long days and long nights to get to his purpose and that is the purpose sometimes when you have the king of water it's about a teacher on a psychic level so maybe if you adopt this to yourself and be psychic and kind of intuitive to feel what it is about an ex that you liked is it the feeling or was it really that person because the person was just demonstrating certain traits that you really love so it's not necessarily the person 
So take action for the qualities and write them down perhaps and find them in another person. Yeah. So for you, you do need to adopt a sense of belief and a sense of love and a sense of deserving on a higher level and kind of realise that when we've got that fragmented energy and memories of something that perhaps wasn't as real as, as it could be, then we need to release that. So because your true love um, card was about love, you do have love. And if you take action from a more cemented, more real love, it's very, very close. You can see this king of a love is on the shoreline. So embrace that on a big level. Okay. So I wish you all the very, very best for 2021. So please work through the stuff of taking action and really realising with this angel that communication is important. It's about the honesty. And that's what the king of cups is all about. They're honest. So no games. Um, with life or other people just communicate really really clearly to yourself what you do want because when we have that fragmented um, conversation with ourselves the universe doesn't know what to give you either <laughs> so we need a solid picture instead of a jigsaw making up that picture so if we tell ourselves yeah yeah it was better when I was with him or her and finding a new relationship, oh, I'm never going to find that perfect relationship. It doesn't exist because my ex was the most fantastic person that I ever walked the earth. So we need to communicate clearly what we do want. Otherwise, the universe uh, and, and your angels and your spirit guides and God itself it is really finding it difficult um, to help you. So please help yourself by communicating clearly what it is that you want and need. Okay? <laughs> Lots of love to you and we'll see you again shortly. Do take care.